Hello and welcome, this is Polarian. Welcome to another weekly mod showcase. The first mod here is called Ack Ax Harlequins. It's by RSM Triple Zero RSM. Basically, he says that upon encountering Ack Ack in his first playthrough, his initial thought was, oh hey, she reminds me of Harley Quinn. Well, actually, his first thought was, oh blah, 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 she has a minigun. <laughs> but the point remains, her appearance gives him Harley Quinn vibes, which I totally agree. And he said basically he relegated the idea to the background because it wasn't making mods at that time. And now that Spiffarino came out with Rags Pirates and Tom's Bruisers, he decided to introduce this. So basically this is for the Raider Gang at USAF Satellite Station Olivia. The generic member has drawn a custom Facebook containing 15 male and 15 female faces, all of which feature unnaturally pale skin tones with Harlequin-esque face paint. As such, they all should look different. They also use toxic Raider armor for the armor and Akak -Ak has her own so it gives them her own unique look also when you get toxic raider i would highly suggest the no awkcr patch this is definitely an amazing looking mod i would definitely check it out adds a nice variety and to the commonwealth and i don't think it looks that unlore friendly so if you like it go check it out all right and this next one we have here is diverse settlers also by rsm triple zero rsm this one basically adds in 1200 faces available to be used by settlers compared to the original 44 faces and takes 36 original faces no longer used from vanilla and puts them all at vault 88 this does not cover far harbor faces he will be making a mod in the future for far harbor settlers he said they draw from a different one. And there's also an optional file called Immersion Quality of Life Pack, which so far adds height and scaling to all settlers, um, therefore making them more have better variety. Settlers assigned to provisional duty will open carry their weapons as they travel between settlements. And when called by the settlement bell, under most circumstances, settlers will run rather than walk. So just some little tweaks that he made to it. But you can see here, there's a good amount of faces so basically yeah he said in the original one there were 36 faces for settlers and 16 in workshop guards now there are a thousand in settlers and 200 in workshop guards so massively expanded it he said if you have a smaller settlement with a low population you may not notice the varying a low population of faces in the vanilla but when you get to big settlements or multiple settlements you'll notice it so this one makes it so that no matter how many settlements you have you should not see the same face twice or hopefully not so yeah it definitely looks awesome he's doing great work here so yeah it also includes his recent bug fix settlers mod so if you get this you don't need that all right and here we have minimum enforcer armor by princess Ares. This one adds a semi-modular armor for many main characters. The armor is heavily inspired by World War I trench raider outfits from a lot of media. And although the armor's stats are based around metal armor, it has more energy protection. You can find the Miniman Enforcer outfit by following the trail of Preston Garvey and other Quincy followers or survivors. I guess survivors would be the right word. <laughs> um, yeah, so set is worn by Josh inside the Super Duper Mart. So I believe, I'm not positive, but I believe that's the one over in Corvega or by Corvega over there in Lexington. So yeah, but it looks really cool. There is an Xbox version of this and it does work for male and female. As you can see here in the chest piece, there's like, three different kinds of paint you have the enforcer paint like minutemen you have this one that says i am an effing tank choo choo and then uh, f you weaklings so yeah it's a pretty interesting got some nice paint jobs on it from what i've seen because i don't dabble a whole lot with armor until recently so i haven't looked at all of it but i think it has a lot of the vanilla upgrades for the armor it just doesn't change the looks like some of it does in vanilla like leather but it does give you options um, for different paint jobs. Um, some of them have just plain metal look and then the Miniman look. So it's pretty cool. I like it. It looks nice. It's got a nice tanky, bulky look to it. I think the armor itself looks really nice. Um, I'll show you here in a few. We'll take a look at it, see what it looks like. It comes with a backpack too. You don't see that in here. But it does have a backpack included with the mod. The enforcer backpack but yeah it looks pretty cool um i guess i guess i could see kind of minimen doing this maybe they found some kind of knight armor or different metal armor and sort of hammered it and um built it into this monstrosity of weaponry 
protection. Because, you know, even the Minutemen gotta survive, and sometimes they may need, like, their enforcers or heavy-duty people to kind of come in and be willing to take a beating to take the front line. So I could definitely see this. It definitely fits with the style, the design, the looks. Um, it's a really good job. I definitely enjoy it, and when I make my model list, and if I ever come out with a Wobba Jack, I'm pretty sure this will make it in. Don't know if it'll make it in the level list, but it'll definitely make it as an option. Yeah, you can see here, the thing looks nice. It's got a, a nice bulky, heavy look to it. The backpack looks nice. And yeah, that's the one with just a regular metal helmet. And that there is, I'm going to show you the one with the unique helmet afterwards. That They have a plain version, which is vanilla, and then a, well, not really vanilla, but it's just plain. And then there's also one that's the unique that has like special markings on it but yeah tell me that thing doesn't look nice that thing is nice and tanky and buggy. that i'd almost be as scared of that as power armor sometimes maybe not quite as much pretty close yeah there's the one with the unique it's almost like a knight helmet type yeah that thing looks nice i i definitely like this thing so yeah if you like looking like some modern day post-apocalyptic knight charging into the battlefield to m mow down your foes and just create carnage and mayhem on the battlefield you should definitely check this one out if you look here the stats it's got for a full set it's got 68 damage reduction and 43 for energy so not too shabby so if you like that go check it out download it endorse it you know what to do all right this next set here is actually two different mods i'm going to be showcasing together this is immersive weight bench by more like vicky and then the other one I'm going to do is also Immersive Surgery Chair, also by More Like Vicky, which also goes along with her previous mods, Immersive Water Pump and Immersive Water Pump Powered. Basically, she does a remesh, um, sort of small quality of life things with remeshes for the workbench. You can see here there was a, a one before this. This one's like loaded with drugs and food. And the surgery, there's three different levels to it for the surgery one and this. There's like a... A full one that has like the x-ray things I showed at the beginning. And then there's like a a light version which has this one right here. And then there's like a really like basic one. Same with the workbench. There's the one at the beginning which is sort of the mid-range. This one here I'm showing is the light version. It's very simple. And then the other one is like I think it's called juice. It's like the, the big one. So basically whatever your level fits. She's got pictures on there. It definitely is nice remeshes. It helps the world look just a little bit better. All right, last mod here we have is Dynamic Body Weight by BP42S. I was not able to get good footage of it because it just takes a while, but this one basically implements a dynamic body weight in the style of Red Dead Redemption 2. Your character now changes weight and muscle mass in-game depending on your actions. Highly configurable and features an entire script library for modders. It is also automatically compatible with CBBE, Fusion Girl, and Enhanced Vanilla Bodies out of the box. And you can see here that the MCM menu actually allows you to tweak things. So yeah, it's very configurable, very cool. So definitely a good mod if you want to add a little bit of a touch to your Commonwealth Adventures. All right, and closing out here, hoping you guys enjoyed today's mod list. It's some simple stuff, but some good quality of life mods that look good. So I'm just going to leave you with some pictures and screenshots I've taken from some of my games and times in the past so hope you guys enjoy it hope you guys enjoy this video and i will see you in the next one until then be safe and be well it's Polorian. till next time checking out